back here in the U.S., a case that is pushing the legal envelope in the war on terror. A Muslim religious scholar is on trial in Virginia this week, not for committing acts of terror, but for allegedly encouraging others to kill American troops in Afghanistan. It's the first time since 9-11 a religious figure has been prosecuted on terror charges for his words. Before the start of the trial, the controversial religious leader sat down for an exclusive interview with NBC senior investigative correspondent Lisa Myers. This is Ali Al-Tamimi, an American biologist and Islamic spiritual leader. Prosecutors charged that only days after 9-11, Al-Tamimi urged a group of Virginia men to go to terrorist camps in Kashmir and train to fight Americans in Afghanistan. Some men did train and already have been convicted of terrorism charges. In an exclusive interview with NBC News, Al Tamimi denies the allegations. Did you ever tell these men to go abroad and join in violent jihad? Never. Why would someone make all this up about you? Perhaps certain people in the government, in a zeal to silence outspoken Muslims in, in North America, have pushed an investigation further than it really should go. In the wake of 9-11, the case does break new ground. Well, it's the first case in which the government has prosecuted a religious leader as such for essentially his speech. Critics say this prosecution is a troubling incursion on the First Amendment and goes too far. But others contend the case isn't about freedom of speech or religion, but akin to a mafia boss ordering a hit. It's not an accepted religious or political belief to say, go out and kill somebody. To bolster their claims, prosecutors point to a message Al Tamimi wrote to followers in 2003, after the destruction of the space shuttle Columbia. Quote, Muslims were overjoyed because of the adversity that befell their greatest enemy. I thought it was an omen. Al Tamimi says he believes the accident suggests Allah was punishing the United States. To have a space shuttle crash in Palestine, Texas, with the Texas president, an Israeli astronaut. Somebody might say there is a divine hand behind it. When we pressed further, Al Tamimi's lawyer abruptly ended the interview. Sorry, Lisa. His defense team emphasizes that no American was ever hurt because of Al Tamimi's words. Experts say to get a conviction, prosecutors must prove he intended for his listeners to actually take action against the United States. Lisa Myers, NBC News, Alexandria, Virginia.